90 days have been and gone, which means it's time for us to do another visa run. So we're gonna shoot off to Burma for our crossing and then come back to the dogs. So away we go. Quick stop off at Cafe for Rest. Never been here before. Gonna get some coffee, cappuccino and a mocha, and then head back to Chiang Rai. Trying to get this visa run done as quickly as possible. So, because we need to do some shopping as well, so it's a bit of a busy day. But, when you come back from holiday, that's what happens. Still though, even though we have to do a visa run, and it's a bit of an aggro, when you get to see these views on the way up, and when the weather looks nice, it's worth it. Let's go and find Sasha, who I think is enjoying a coffee right now. Sasha's not messing about. That coffee's nearly finished already. Okay, you ready to go? Yes. Yeah. Coffee is quite beautiful. I'm ready to go. <laughs> Sasha, don't you wish we were getting in that car now? You don't? Yeah, but look how cool it looks, as in, as in modern and cool. <laughs> no, I don't like four-door cars. Okay. Hear that, people? Sasha would choose a 43-year-old Ford Escort over a Mercedes-Benz. <laughs> because it's got four doors. That's the only reason. We are off to the Cat Cafe for some lunch now. They did have quite a big food menu at this place, but the coffee was pukey. We decided not to have food there, so we're gonna go somewhere that we know the food is nice. Cat so, cafe! Cat cafe it is. Cats! Cats! Ah. We've got the skies back. Whee! This is where the sunflowers were. When I had my sunflower euphoria moment. Do you remember that? Check that out! It's so nice! Absolutely made my day that. This world is so amazing! Cat cafe, chilling out, relaxing, all cool. Just got some pork burgers, looking forward to that. Hopefully the coffee's good too, we're gonna get some coffees later. At the wrong time for cats again, they've got a new information sign up which says their cats are here from 10 to 12 and 5 onwards. So again, no cats at the cat cafe. They are, they're just sleeping. The cats are always sleeping when we get here. We need to arrive here at the right time. Yeah, we're not really here for the cats, we're always here for the food. Great food here. That's the cat cafe done. We're going to head back and do some shopping now because a thunderstorm is coming and the two dogs might not like being at home on their own in a thunderstorm. So let's get back. I have to apologise for my scruffiness as of late, but I am going to cut my hair soon. Just going to go on a fruit check around the farm because we haven't been here for a while. So I want to see what has been growing over the last few Weeks. Now these have progressed nicely. Jackfruits are growing. Don't look forward to these all dropping down because they're going to stink. Okay, so that's the jackfruit situation. Let's go see what the mango is doing. Mmm, current mango situation is quite poor. Can't see any mangoes on the tree yet. Still some bananas on the trees. There's always bananas. Bananas are year round it seems. Fruit situation aside though, check out the view. Imagine waking up to that every day. We don't have to. Sasha and I have been saying that wherever we move to next, we've kind of spoiled ourselves because we've got such nice views here and it's so cheap that it's going to be very difficult to match it somewhere else in the world. We might not even be able to, but if you keep following, you'll find out. Follow the journey. Today is sizzling, sizzling hot. Taking the dogs out for a farm walk together. Look. Since we've had that mini storm in Chiang Mai, all the haze has cleared away and we have had some nice views for the last few days, which has been beautiful. Back to North Thailand the way we remember it and the way we will always remember it. Chloe is free. She's off leash. Yeah. See that? Eden does not like to play. See, this is a plus one for Chloe. Eden does not like to play any kind of fetching games. But Chloe is great at it. Good girl, Eden. 
So you've been watching our recent videos to Chiang Mai and you might have seen quite a bit of our life in Chiang Mai. What do you think you would prefer if you was to come and move here? Let us know. And when we first got here, Chiang Mai was perfect for us, but now that we've been here in Chiang Rai, we much prefer it. So, I don't know, what are you looking for in your move to Thailand? I'm curious. Let us know in the comments. Before we moved here, I always pictured living in Thailand to be exactly this, like surrounded by rice fields in a little house, surrounded by mountains and scenery. Obviously, we didn't really have that in Chiang Mai. But now we do, so now I've got exactly what I imagined moving to Thailand would be like, so I'm happy. <laughs> the house is looking nice. That little puffy cloud above it. I have to photograph one more scene for the monthly special, which you've already seen. And we're going to go head out to Sing Park, which is one of our favourite places to go in Chiang Rai. Got a nice coffee shop there. Should be the final scene, so I can get the final thing finished, exported, uploaded for you to watch. So, just gonna wait for these dogs to finish up and then we can go. Come on Eden, we're not going for a farm walk. Not yet, maybe later. Come on. Come Chloe, back in. It's a really bright and glary day today. Just paid the electricity bill. Now we're at Sing Park, parked up. I'm gonna get a coffee and a tea and then do the time lapse afterwards. Do we like it here? It's nice that it's so close to our house as well. So 10 minute drive and we're here. They also do really nice cakes and desserts there too, so bonus! There's not many people here right now. Sometimes when we come past here it is heaving and there's so many people, but it's half three on a Monday afternoon, so it looks like we've got it pretty much to ourselves, which is nice. We realised when we were on the way out to come here that we hadn't actually filmed here before, which also means that you have not seen the best brownies in Chiang Rai so Jay's just gone to get one because they are too good to not have when they have them. Here it is. Have you ever seen a brownie this chunky? I have to say that ever since having what I consider to be the best brownie ever at All About Coffee I've always been on the search for a great brownie and Chiang Rai, this place, Sing Park, has got a very very good brownie. In Chiang Rai this is definitely the best one so if you're ever in this town and you want brownie goodness, come and get this one, okay? Sing Park Brownie! Sasha is brownie-less today because she's on her tea diet. So she break from cakes. Break so. from cakes. Yes, during our road trip we did consume quite a bit of cake. A cake break is needed sometimes, I have to say. But I can't resist this brownie! This park is also known as Boon Road Farm. So if you're looking to get here by taxi or something, sometimes you need to say that. Boon Road. <laughs> One of the features of this park is the big Sing Lion statue that everyone comes to take a selfie by. So that's what we're going to do later, take a selfie over there. Okay, I'm done with brownies now. Heading over to the epic looking Sing Lion now to get my final shots for my episode made entirely out of photos. If you haven't seen it yet, here's a link. I'm done with my pictures now. Got a bit sweaty walking <laughs> around there, but I think it should make a successful video. The sky's looking nice. This place is actually a wonderful place to go out. It's a great day. There's like a zoo here and stuff and lovely cafes like I mentioned before. We'll have to come back yeah. and film it properly another time. This yeah. was just a quick stop off. We'll, we'll be back. We'll cover it properly next time. You could spend a whole day here. So this video is a bit of a random one. Bits and pieces from all over our week, um, but that's how it is sometimes. I think we did the quickest visa run that we've ever done. <laughs> Don't forget to let us know in the comments what you think you would prefer if you were to move to Thailand. Would you prefer city or would you prefer more rural, peaceful? Are you a beach, country or city person? Let us know, just interested. <laughs> so as always, thumbs up, leave us a comment and we'll see you next time. Bye.